Hey guys, so my pastor said something uh, today at church, and he said um, that humility is a journey and that pride is a destination, and uh, really struck me, so got a minute? So the re thing that really got me about this is um, I started thinking about Paul's thorn in the flesh, which a lot of people think is pride, you know, and if anyone had something to be proud of whenever it comes to their relationship with God and the things that he experienced, Paul was definitely one of them. And so this um, thorn in the flesh was something he prayed to get rid of. He didn't want it. Um, and, you know, like it was something that bothered him, you know, like he knew that 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 pride wasn't supposed to be there, but it was something that he continually had to fight. It was a thorn in his side. It was something that was always nagging him there. And so he ended up, um, you know, God ended up telling him that his grace is sufficient. And I started thinking about this and I'm like, this makes so much sense. You know, if you think about Lucifer, um, there was a point whenever God anointed Lucifer to be the the morning star, the 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 bright one. You know, like the one that had you know was the the lead worshiper for God, and he was anointed with this, and then all of a sudden he becomes Satan, the prince of darkness. And so there is something about this that I think we really need to hold on to, and that is that pride makes us stop. If we ever, if we ever stop humbling ourselves, then we stop being exalted because God's going to exalt those that are humble. And if he exalts us and then we take pride in what we've been exalted, then we freeze. And eventually, since we're not moving forward, we set up camp we start to lose our position. We start to lose our influence because God isn't God isn't going to exalt the proud. Um, and so that being said, I, I guess my question is like, are you humble, like, uh, or do you take pride in the things that that you've experienced? Uh, I know that you know a lot of people they have a great, awesome experience with God, and then all of a sudden you know it's like well, I'm I'm better. <laughs> well, you're not better. <laughs> The experience is something that's meant to grow you, but it's it's got to keep you humble. If you, if you don't get humbled, then you're going to end up being humbled. So as you go through your week, just think about your journey to be to humility so that you don't get humiliated. Thanks for taking a minute.